Having a match against Brock Lesnar is a nightmare for most of the professional wrestlers. The match can become all-time classic or it can even end in few minutes. And this happened with many wrestlers in WWE and today we are going to see Brock Lesnar squash matches. So let's have a look at it. So the first match we are going to talk about is Brock Lesnar vs John Cena SummerSlam 2014. Brock Lesnar literally decimated John Cena. John Cena didn't even stand a chance in this match. In this match, Brock Lesnar created a new record of giving the most suplexes in a single match. He gave 16 suplexes to John Cena. John Cena was helpless. There was only two moments in the match where Cena had some chance against Lesnar. One when he gave an attitude adjustment and one when he gave a STF. But at the end, Brock Lesnar gave a F and easily won the match. Now let's talk about the next match which was Brock Lesnar vs Ricochet Super Showdown 2020. After winning the number one contenders triple threat match against Bobby Lashley and Seth Rollins, Ricochet's dreams was going to come true. He was going to face Brock Lesnar for the WWE Championship. But during the match with Brock Lesnar, Brock Lesnar defeated Ricochet in 1 minute 30 seconds. Some German suplexes and one FI was enough to defeat Ricochet. Now talking about the next match, we all know about this match because this was Coffee Kingston vs Brock Lesnar Smackdown debut on Fox. Coffee Kingston vs Brock Lesnar. And from where to start? Because this match didn't had any start. This match just had an end. The bell rang, Coffee Kingston immediately jumped on Lesnar's shoulder and Lesnar gave a F5 and won the match. The match ended in 10 seconds and there is nothing to say about this match. Now when we'll talk about this next match, I think many people might have forget about this match because this match was Brock Lesnar vs Mark Henry. Now this match happened in the early days of Brock Lesnar's career, Smackdown 2002. Mark Henry tried to show some strength here but Brock Lesnar didn't let Mark Henry do anything. Brock Lesnar squashed young Mark Henry. Mark Henry only gave a suplex in this match and nothing else and Lesnar gave a F5 and won this match. The next guy who was squashed by the hands of Brock Lesnar was Big Show and it was a 2 minute match and 1 F5 all it took to defeat Big Show. In the starting moments of the match, Big Show gave an KO punch but after a minute, Lesnar easily picked Big Show up and gave a F5 to win the match. After the match, Brock Lesnar also beat Big Show by a steel chair. Now the next guy to be dominated by Lesnar was Paul London. This guy Paul London who was weighing 180 pounds was trying to challenge Brock Lesnar for the WWE Championship and Lesnar taught him a good lesson. He mercilessly beat Paul London and he was throwing him like a sack. At the end 1F5 and game over. Like this one more wrestler named Shannon Murray was trying to challenge Brock Lesnar for the WWE Championship but he also faced the same fate. Now you won't believe who the next guy is because that was Eddie Guerrero. I think we should talk more about this match. So this match happened on an episode of Smackdown Brock Lesnar vs Eddie Guerrero. The moment the match started, Brock Lesnar had an upper hand on Eddie Guerrero. Eddie Guerrero even cheated in this match by giving a low blow and a couple of distractions. But Eddie Guerrero wasn't able to do much with this help. He gave a F5 and won the match. Just like this, Brock Lesnar also went one on one against Hardcore Holly on an episode of Smackdown. And this was also the match where Brock Lesnar actually snapped Hardcore's Holly neck, but results were as usual, same. Brock Lesnar defeated Hardcore Holly by F5. And that's it for the video guys, this was Brock Lesnar's best squash matches. I hope you have liked this video, till then see you soon.